that timer in. And we just got all the stuff out of here. We got all the tarpaulins off of here. Of course, that's what that mess is over there. And some of this mess here. But what we're going to do today, we're going to put the engine in here. But before we can do that, we got to clean this up. So my wife, because it's been, you know, collecting dirt and dust all the time. Watch this set here. So my wife is going to clean this up. And I'm going to get the engine set down in there and then configure a exhaust system for this. The exhaust is going to have to go under here and then come out here go up here and over and back or down i don't know probably just back because i have to have flappers on the exhaust to keep the ocean out and if you paint, put it pointing down the flappers are going to always hang open so i got to have the exhaust going straight back so that the flappers are maybe slightly up so that the flappers will close and keep rain and water and stuff out so anyway but the other thing i gotta do see that piece of pvc that's broken that's my little rope stand see right there that one's somehow well somebody kid climbed on here and broke it but at any rate uh, this is the rope of course and i gotta zoom back out it goes between here and the front that holds the tarpaulin up so it's like a rooftop and the water sheds off to the right and left instead of pulling up in the tarpaulin so she's got the water, but before she gets anything wet, I got to get that out of there. And we're going to strengthen these two because anybody can pretty much snap these little half inch PVC. So what we're doing, we're sliding a piece of three quarter inch over it. Sliding because these, uh, I checked and at the lumber yard, the half inch slid inside of the three four. So we're going to put a, a three four inch sleeve on here all the way up to here and down to around in here because this bottom part has to fit into this half inch little doodad here this little foot stand so short of this this will all be three-fourths uh or half inch encased in three-fourths inch so i'm going to do that now i got my cutters right there i got my tape ruler in my pocket right here and i'm going to measure this cut it slide it on and glue it and we'll be back and then i got to do that one but that one's in two pieces so i got to uh splice that one you know together and then we got to do the other the third hole too oh over there that we don't have open up another project we have is to wash this roof so we got scrub brushes we thought we bought three or four scrub brushes yesterday but when we checked out and got home there was only one they only charge us for one but i don't know where it happened to the other three scrub brushes <laughs> that we had because we're going to try to get some of the ladies here to help us uh, clean this of course we'll pay them you know but anyway we are gonna do the pvc work and we'll be back with more for my paradise on battalion island yeah see this got all busted up like i said some kid climbed on here they're not supposed to climb on here but they did and they broke it i can kind of rejoin it it's bent there too so that may be a challenge getting it into the three four inch but this is the three four inch here that i'm going to start with so we will be back after I cut that and glue it, you'll see the end result. Paradise yeah. out. Well, I said we we're going to clean the boat, but look at that. That's a bunch of soapy water. There's a bunch of soapy water. And we're on, only cleaning the inside. The outside needs it too. Look at that. There's a bunch of dirt every, everywhere. But before, well, when we get in the ocean, we'll use the ocean to, with this big old sponge. By the way, these sponges are perfect for getting water out of the hull because this is a flat bottom boat and round buckets and scoopers don't work on the flat surface so you put this big sponge in there and it just soaks up a massive amount and wring it over the side and boom it's nice really nice so anyway we are cleaning here's that's the propeller shaft by the way this is where the engine mounts right where those i don't know if you can see those four bolts there's one there's one there's one there's one mounts there and the propeller goes through this shaft here i made drain holes through here there and there so this water should drain back into here if and out that drain hole however the water in the front of there doesn't drain out anywhere so that's hence we have a sponge and the water from the front up there should drain through there's a little drain hole that i'm, I'm a notch that i made in the bottom wood there for the water to drain through too so we should be draining to back here or to 
in the, in the middle of the boat, which we don't want. Anyway, so we will continue. We got some water there. Their water pressure, there's none here, so we have to use uh, drinking water to wash it, but that's only 25 pesos, 50 cents for five gallons of water. So you people in the U.S. that are paying whatever per gallon, we're paying 10 cents per gallon here. Yeah? And that's from the sorry sorry store. If you buy it from the place that actually makes it, it's I think it's 18 pesos, 36 cents for five gallons. So anyway, there's somebody over there hauling some too. See, see him in the distance there. There, he got some. Everybody's getting water, but that's for drinking. Or maybe they water their chickens with that. I don't know. It's reverse osmosis. That's the safe stuff to drink if you're going to drink water here. Okay, just ring it out here. You can ring it out on the tarpaulin if you wanted to. So you saw how that rings out and how much it absorbed up. It absorbed almost, almost all that. There, we got some red stains from the mahogany because mahogany, as it dries, there are and the water, or the juices come out out of it. They're red. And they'll stain, see like that little red stain there? That's not rust, that's that's mahogany wood. It bled, basically. Uh, and we could probably scrub it out if we had some scotch bite or some Zonrox chlorine, like uh, Clorox, basically. Zonrox is what they call their chlorine product here, or their bleach product here. That's one of the brands. That's one that we use. So anyway, we're pressing on. I've got, oh, by the way, I've got these things done. You see, I put the half inch, well, I put the three quarter inch sleeve over the half inch and glued it in place here. So now we have a stronger pipe. This is the thickness of the half and the three fourths here. And this uh, recess part go, ha has to be that size because it goes into this half inch piece here. This is, this is the foot thing. So it sits in there like that, like that, you see. So I had to leave that small, but anyway, it's a perfect fit. So we're good to go with this one, and I did this one too, too. So we're good to go with this one here, and it's the same set. I up we got the the T for the rope going through there. We got this one here, uh, slides on, voila, like that. When we stand it up, I've got to take it off because that glue might still be wet, and I don't want it to permanently glue to this. These come apart so that they're easy to store. So I had to add a little extension on here because I cut this one a little bit short. I forgot about the, this one's already inside there and glued. So but we're good to go. We're good to go with these two. We got to do that last one there, but we got to take that uh, hole cover off, tarpaulin off, and then we'll do that one. I'll do that one. And then we also got to put the engine in here. And then maybe tomorrow we'll put the engine in because right now we're probably be cleaning until four o'clock now. Probably be cleaning and drying until five or four thirty ish. And then we'll put the engine in tomorrow and start to work on figuring out uh, the exhaust system. I might can use PVC to configure it to make a mock up. I'll think about that. I will think about that. I think I got one inch pipe. Uh, is what I'm using for the exhaust. Maybe one and a quarter or something. Anyway, this size, this size right here. This is the elbow for my exhaust system. I think that's maybe a little more than an inch, inch and or something. So anyway, I'll figure it out. Maybe I'll buy some PVC that size and just mock it all up with PVC and then uh, come back and copy it with the uh, stainless. Take it to the welder and have him copy that. That'd be, that might work. Yeehaw. Maybe we have an answer. So anyway, we'll finish cleaning. I'll get some PVC this size and again, possibly one inch. This is stainless, this is 304 marine grade stainless for the exhaust pipe and we'll see and over here we've got the uh muffler the inside of the muffler here you see all the holes drilled and we'll cut it somewhere here or there and then 
I got a three inch pipe that goes over it and we'll put some uh, stainless steel wool section donuts on this and then assemble the muffler. We'll put the, uh, the flanges on the end here, on the end there, and also on the end of the exhaust pipe coming out of, we'll call it header, if you did in race cars. Uh, the header will come out, there'll be a flange that'll bolt onto that. At the end of that, there'll be a flange that'll bolt onto the up pipe and over pipe. So we will be back with more from my paradise on the Italian Island. A clean boat is a happy boat. Paradise. I'll back up and give you a full shot of the boat, the trimaran. By the way, the potato, potato trees are growing great. This is, I think, uh, what do they call this? Uh, taro, taro. The, it's, I, it's the roots that they eat here. They grow these things up, and then it's the roots that they eat. It's like a you, you know, potato. I think they grow it all over tropical world, Africa, here, South America, you name it. So anyway, we'll be back with more from my paradise on Italian Island. Paradise. All right, y'all. It looks like she got it done. She got the inside clean, or as clean as we can get it right now. Looks pretty clean. If you saw it before, the before, which I'm sure you saw. If you're been paying attention and all that, like I said, that red is a piece of mahogany, and when it as it dries, it bleeds a red sap or dye color, and it can be washed off. But we'll do it like, like, I put this uh, engine cover on here. We got to make a, another front cover that goes down this way. It's out of like that peak piece of wood there. You see the one that got the V cut cut out. We actually use that V to make the front of this these boats here. I think, yeah, yeah, we made the front of that V. But uh, anyway, that's, we, we used that piece because the edges were rotten. So we're going to uh, use that as a model to make this front cover here. Because I set right here, I set right here in front of the engine, the engine's behind me. Back here, you've got your exhaust system here and your propeller system, your universal joint and propeller shaft all that goes from the back of the engine through here out the bottom and the muffler is going to come around here somewhere in here then there'll be a pipe comes out comes up and over and kind of out like a like a motorcycle kind of yeah i don't know if you saw that uh video i did on the vanelli it's uh 135 cc but it's a uh, it's got a really good looking exhaust system and the pipe comes up and goes out like that and it's got and the ends are kind of angle cut i don't know if i can ang angle cut because like i said i got to do flappers to keep water out so anyway we have got well, not we got to clean my wife got it cleaned she cleaned it she does a good job on these so anyway tomorrow we'll put the engine in and I think I will mock everything up. I'm going to buy some one-inch PVC and a bunch of couplings and see if I can mock it up with PVC. I'm going to put the engine in, make PVC, because I can cut and glue and all kinds of stuff. If you're working with the steel, you make a mistake. You can't just, I mean, it's expensive, expensive kinds of mistakes. So I will uh, buy some one-inch, I believe it's one-inch PVC. I'm pretty sure that's a one inch or maybe one and an eighth or something, one and a quarter. I don't know. Closer to one. And I'll get some PVC that size with all the couplings and, and mock up the exhaust with that and then give that to my... It'll be all glued and everything and have places where the couplings go. And uh, so that will be that. And we got these guys all strengthened up here. We got this doubled up as you saw. This is a half inch inside of a three fourths inch, so now it's twice as strong. We got that thing so tight, it's like a guitar string. That's my little PVC brush because they didn't have a brush with the PVC I bought. Uh, and this is a piece of stainless steel pipe that we don't want to lose because that's valuable stuff. So anyway, we're going to put the raincoats back on, or the 
cheapy raincoats, not our good ones. That is going to go in here, and the other tarpaulin is going to cover it all up. So, and we'll put the uh, trampolines back where they go, and then we'll head for the house because it's uh, 4:35. We're not going to start any major engine products. I'm not going to leave my engine out here at night. Not that it's not safe, but just it's not smart. And tomorrow is a better day for that anyway. So we will do our thing and we'll be back with more My Paradise on the Italian Island. As I've said before, a clean boat is a happy boat. Paradise, I'm gonna try to block that sunset, don't glare. Out. <laughs>